Hello dears, this is my first lecture on numerical analysis for 5th sum BSc core course in Calcutta University. In this lecture we will discuss the bisection method which can be used to find the approximate root of an equation. Solutions of equations in one variable. In this chapter we consider one of the most basic problems of numerical approximation that is root finding problem root finding problems we are dealing with root finding problems in this session or in this chapter suppose we have an equation of this form f of x equal to 0 here the process involves uh, finding the roots of this uh, equation of this form f of x equal to 0 or a solution of this equation root or solution of this equation for a given function f that is if we have uh, we are given a function for or an equation f of x equal to 0 then our aim is to find the root of this equation or the solution of this equation also the root of that equation is also called the zero of the function f zero of the function f now here we can discuss the first method to find the root of this type of equations or the so zero of uh, the function f the method is called a bisection method. This is the simplest method. Uh, it is also called binary search method. Bisection method or binary search method. The main idea of this method is bisecting an interval. This method is based on the intermediate value theorem. We know intermediate value theorem. Suppose uh, f is a continuous function defined on the interval a b with f of a and f of b are opposite signs. Then the intermediate value theorem implies that there exists a number p in a b such that f of p equals 0. We know the root of this equation is a p such that f of p equal to 0. So here our aim is to find uh, such p. Uh, for that p such that we have f of p equal to 0. So we know if uh, consider an interval a b, if we have an interval a b with uh, f of a and f of p are opposite signs. For example, if, suppose we have a function like this. Here, uh, this is uh, this point is a and this point is b. So clearly, uh, this is uh, x axis and this is y axis. Let this be y, y equal to f of x. This be the graph of y equal to f of x. Let this point be a and this point be b. So clearly, we have this is this is f of a and f of b is here. So f of a is negative and f of b is positive. So f of a and f of b are opposite signs. In that case, we can find a p and that is if we can find this point p such that f of p equals 0 here. We, here we have the f of p equal to this, f of p equals 0. So if f of a and f of b are opposite signs, here we have f of a is negative and f of b is positive. So if f of a and f of b are of opposite sign, we can find by Intermediate, intermediate value theorem we can find a point p or a, a number p in a b in open a b such that f of p equal to 0 that p will be the root of this equation f of x we, we can discuss this method geometrically first okay suppose we have a graph of a function y equal to f of x our aim is to find uh, the root of the approximate root of f of x equal to 0 Actually, we are dealing with the numerical methods to find the uh, 0 of f of f or f of x or root of f of x equal to 0. Uh, so here the first method is bisection method. For this, uh, actually we need uh, we need an interval a b such that f of a is less than 0, f of b is greater than 0 or f of a is greater than 0, f of b is less than 0. That means f of a and f of b are of opposite signs. We need such a such an interval. So if we have a, the graph of a function y equal to f of x is this. This is the graph of a function y equal to f of x. And uh, this point is a1, uh, a, this is a and this is b. This is our interval a, b. That is in a, b, uh, f of x is continuous. Right. So first we set a1 is equal to a. This point is set to a1 and this point is set to b1. Now we are taking the half of uh, or, or the or we are going to bisect this uh, interval a b. 
that is bisection means uh, next we are considering p1 is equal to a1 plus b1 a1 means our a and b1 is our b a1 plus b1 divided by 2 that is uh, we will get a point like this this is the center of uh, this interval okay this point is p1 so actually we know this is the point p which is the root okay we know if uh, here we have a f of a is negative and f of b is positive so surely since f of x is continuous surely it will uh, pass through uh, or, or over this x axis so uh, we can find such p such that f of x is equal to 0 here right so we are going to approximate that value p that is the numerical method here so first we uh, bisect uh, this a1 uh, this interval a1 and b1 that this is the p1 now uh, we are taking the value of f of p1 we know f of p1 is this so f of p1 is again positive so we ignore this point that means we ignore this point and we are taken now this interval as the first interval was a1 b1 okay now here in a1 we have f of a1 is equal to f of a1 is negative and f of b1 is positive so when we buy bisect uh, this a1 b1 we get p1 so at that point we have f of p1 equal to this so this is positive so we can uh, uh, replace this point b this point b1 by p1 now our new interval is a2 b2 where b2 equal this point p1 right we can replace p1 by so uh, by b2 right so and a1 is equal to a2 so this is we are not changing this point so a2 b2 is this so a2 is nothing but a1 but b2 is uh, this point p1 okay now our new interval is this now we have to find the value uh, uh, f of a2 and f of b2 we already know f of a2 is equal to f of a1 which is nothing but this f of a this is actually negative and now what about this in this graph we can find uh, we have f of p2 equal to actually uh, f of p1 which is positive so this is positive now we applying the intermediate value theorem again we will get uh, we can find another point uh, we, we can see that the uh, the point or, or the root will be between this a2 b2 a2 and p2 so we know this is the point so in now again intersecting bisecting this point this interval that is a2 plus b2 divided by 2 that is p2 equal to p2 equal to a2 plus b2 divided by 2 this is the second iteration so a2 plus b2 divided by 2 will get p2 p2 will be the midpoint of this interval right uh, a1 uh, or a2 p, b2 so this is the p2 point p2 is this okay now we can check uh, f of p2 f of p2 means f of p2 is actually here so this is f of p2 this is negative so we can uh, uh, replace this uh, a that is we can replace this point a1 so now our new interval is a3 b3 that is p2 b2 this is our new interval a3 p3 again we are finding then uh, uh, the midpoint of this interval that is p3 it will be here now we can use we can ignore this point p, p2 or we can ignore a3 so we will get this interval now again etc so this is the bisection method this method is actually based on the intermediate value theorem so here actually uh, we, we, we just we need to uh, here to apply this uh, method first we have we need an interval such that uh, f of a and f of b are opposite signs now this is the procedure uh, here we uh, we need to find the uh, root of this equation f of x equal to 0 and we are given an interval a b we are given an interval a b the thing is that we must have f of a and f of b are opposite signs or f of a into f of b should be less than zero that means f of a and f of b are opposite signs then only f of a and f of b less than zero so uh, we need an interval a b such that f of a into f of b is less than zero so suppose we have such an interval now the first step is we have to set a1 equal to this a and b1 equal to b then next step is first we need to find the midpoint p1 of a b that is p1 is equal to a1 plus b1 minus a1 divided by 2 that is a1 plus b1 divided by 2 
we can find the midpoint by using this a1 plus b1 divided by 2 that is it will be the midpoint of this interval ab now if f of p1 is equal to 0 if we have we, we found the uh, midpoint of a and b if f of p1 equal 0 then p equal p1 is the root of that equation because f of p1 equal 0 means p1 p1 is the root so we obtained p uh, that is the root p as p1 okay if f of p1 is not equal to 0 then we have a, either f of p1 is greater than 0 or f of p1 is less than 0 okay so we know f of a into f of b is less than 0 so f of a may be uh, if f of a is greater than 0 then f of b is less than 0 etc so uh, if f of p1 is not equal to 0 then f of p1 has the same sign as f of a1 or f of b1 clear because f of p1 should be uh, either greater than 0 or less than 0 because uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, one of this uh, f of a and f of b is less than 0 and the other is f uh, greater than 0 so f of p1 has the same sign as f of a1 or f of b1 now if f of p1 and f of a1 if f of p1 and f of a1 have the same sign then p belongs p is actually our root root belongs to p1 b1 clear p1 b1 and that means we have we can replace uh, we can replace a1 by p1 okay and set a2 equal to p1 and b2 equal to the previous point b1 itself now if f of p1 and f of a1 have opposite signs that means f of p1 and f of b1 are same sign then we have to replace b1 by uh, a1 that means the root p belongs to a1 p1 and in that case we have to set a2 equal to a1 and b2 equal to the new midpoint p1 okay then re reapply the process to the interval a2 b2 and again and again applying this uh, uh, procedure we will get the required root that is the approximate value of the root that is we will get a sequence of numbers p1 p2 p3 etc and it will be converges to the original root of the equation p now different stopping criterions can be applied in this method that means we don't know how much iterations we need to perform so uh, for that we can use the different stopping criterions for example we can select a tolerance uh, epsilon greater than 0 and generate p1 p2 etc pn until one of the following conditions met that is first uh, criterion is absolute value of pn minus pn minus 1 is less than epsilon that is uh, to stop our procedure or to stop our iteration uh, we can select a tolerance epsilon greater than 0 such that these are the approximate roots or the iterations the roots obtained uh, uh, approximate roots obtained in each of the iterations p1 is for in first, first iteration etc pn is the uh, the root in nth iteration so we can use such a uh, point epsilon or tolerance epsilon such that pn minus pn minus 1 this absolute value of pn minus pn minus 1 is less than epsilon that is the uh, the difference between uh, the absolute value of the difference between uh, this root uh, approximate root pn and the, the previous uh, root is less than epsilon and the second criterion is we can set an epsilon such that uh, the absolute value of pn minus pn minus 1 divided by absolute value of pn is less than epsilon and third one is we can set uh, a tolerance epsilon such that uh, modulus of or absolute value of f of pn is less than epsilon okay also if you are using a computer to generate approximations it is good to set an upper bound on the number of iterations i think we can stop for the time being and uh, we will discuss uh, an example in the next lecture